high ground. Oh, so, sorry, I just like had to pull math seats on my eyebrows there. Um, I'm going to film a video um, for you for, I don't know, for my Halloween series, I guess. Um, first thing I'm going to start by doing is moisturising my lips because I'm about to put some makeup on them. I don't want them to get really dry. The first thing that you want me to do with this is apply a foundation. I'm going to be applying a really heavy foundation. I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Just because I want like a really clean canvas to start from. And I also um, want to completely cover up my lips. So before I am looking else, I like that. I'm going to create a barrier on my lips. And now I'm going to apply the foundation. So this is a few shades darker than my skin tone, this colour. That's the one that I'm using. So, so I think that it's just me or does anyone else want to say it with old people? <laughs> they wear always wear like ten ten shades darker than what they're meant to wear as far as foundation goes. Go over your eyebrows, that's fine. Go over your eyelids, go everywhere. Okay. You want to look completely covered. It's not like that to that thing. Probably wear really this colour. I think it looks weird because I've got I've still got like a tiny bit of tan on my um Neck, um, and also I think it's blending in with like the blues I put on my hand from the last video I just filmed. I just found um, a kind of doll, I think it's the doll from, I can't remember, I found it on the um, I'm not going to upload it though because I found it really, really bad just because I actually didn't prepare myself for the video in any way. So. Not to tip. <laughs> Always make sure you have everything you need to take the videos. Because it will not work if you don't. <laughs> okay. So now you've got your base on. You just want to make sure you set it all in place. I'm using MAC. Oops. Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Medium Plus. And I'm just using the Flawless Face Brush, School Flawless Face Brush by Game Reynolds, just to put this on. So I don't want to be shiny, I've lost my youthful glow. <laughs> I'm going to be so hard. I just think this tutorial would be hilarious if you're, um, if you're in a group of friends that it. What I'm actually going to do, um, is an old man. I'm going to do like aging in stages. I think I'm going to do like bags and like everything like that. Like all the nasty things that come along with being old. But just now we're focusing on like stage one of being extremely like So together we will age our hair and we will look amazing. What I'm going to use for the majority, or for everything really, except the highlighting and my eyebrows, is this Krylon um, Makeup Old Age Wheel. It looks like this. It's amazing, I love it. Um, you get four different colours. You get three kind of brown shades, depending on the skin colour you want to use. And then you get a red shade, which is amazing. This red shade is so good. Um, you can probably tell what colour I am. I'm darker, kind of more brown, there's more yellows, and I definitely have brown colour. But it's so good with my skin colour. With this, a little bit goes a really long way, so it'll last you forever. What I'm going to start with is, um, like, obvious wrinkles. So, it's got to be wrinkles on your face. The easiest way to get wrinkles is to smile. And then draw a really thin line like that. So I'm actually going to do one half and then you can compare them. And then I like to blend it straight away. 
to soy no it's going to be. You'll find where you want to go with your face and then where you feel like it's best to do it. With your forehead, it's just a case of stretching your face up. If you like me, you don't have that way for your forehead. Push down and just really strain it up. And this is the horrible part because once you fill them in, you take your finger away, they're still over here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> depends on how old you are. <laughs> depends on how old you're making yourself look. You're probably not that old. You can make yourself bold. Um, just lean heavier. With your eyes, when you smile, you'll see where your wrinkles are again. And then just. Start to fill that in. Yeah. It's not like the nicest tutorial to film because you feel so old after it. I'm just going to do a few lines underneath my eye as well. And then I'm going to deepen this part of my eye to make it look a lot, a lot more hot, like deep and sunk again. So, I'm looking quite old on the side of my face, one side, so I'm just going to just go under for it a little bit so it actually reaches everywhere. And what I like to do is press them so that I'm not having to draw any more lines. I kind of just extend over my whole forehead there. And don't just do those ones, do random ones, because they all come a bit like straight to but I do have wrinkles like that. You're also going to have frown lines. So just frown, give yourself the stink eye, and then draw these out. So about like the blending and the shading, all that kind of stuff that you do, but it's going to make this look more realistic. Than look at that, that was weird. We all know that we are at 20, but we want to look about 70. And also depending on how old you're trying to go, is how many of you give yourself. If you're really trying to do like 50, then you only need like two or three inches. I'm also going to put some here, some of the darker colour to make it look like my eyelid is kind of like the top of my eye has dripped over. Because in that, the whole color is always the bit that's like sunken in. And then pat some down here. Ah, oh, look awful. Okay. <laughs> and then the next step is to highlight all of those areas that you just done. What I'm going to highlight with is my Givenchy Mr. Light Pen. Can you do with one? You can use um, another cream product. The only thing with this is that you have to be super careful that you don't cut up what you have to do. So I'm going to just take a whole load of this onto my hand. Clean off that brush you just get stuck because this is like the perfect size brush that you want to use because small it is and flat. And then just pack the product on there. Especially when you get to the details in your eye something that you can't really change because it's so deep, deep um, so 
the details that you want to put a game on. I think that's what I feel like to do more. Is it passing with it? I love, I really highlight in the Nifty Brow one. Because that again helps the dippiness of it. Oh, yeah! With this one, I like to highlight in both ends a little bit. And then you want to do your forehead as well. If you see. It's really right. Get that on. So you can see the difference it's made to this side of my face. I hate how you can you can kind of see like how they look when I do it like that. But on my camera's just when I sit back here, I don't look old. But then if I come really close up, you can see all around my eyes and stuff. I look quite old by now, actually. I feel a little crazy in there. And the good thing about this one is that once you do it a few times, like for me, it's really easy because I know where to wrinkle my face. Which is not really, I guess, a good thing. I shouldn't know where I should be able to wrinkle my face. I, I do. Luckily. Um, let's see. Try that one in as well. Yeah. Like that. Then I will take a picture at the stage so you guys can see how old I am looking the grass. Okay. What the? Uh, I always end up sticking my nails in. What I'm going to do now is just quickly make the other side of my face before I show you these all the fine details that you have that you can do to help with the aging. With this is a really light hand, so key. And this is just going to look completely really good. It's really hard to blend with my face so like a bit of that. I'm not going to lie, it's really difficult to blend with that. So keep that in mind when you're watching this back. Old people always have thinner noses than us, so we just bring that right down. Can you see how quickly I did that side of my face? So fast. Then highlighting, I should take on. So I highlighted a little bit there. I think they're a little bit more oily and they're like really really big in that area. 
still feel really proud of your actress on the best character. That's all you have to do to make a mistake. Just like, cover up the character. Tap of the day. So I didn't want to make myself look like, really old. I just kind of wanted to age myself a little bit. Not a little bit. Like, I obviously wanted to age myself. But I didn't want to make myself look about 100. So. That's what I've done here. Um, as far as the eyebrows go, what you need to do is get a white face cream or a white powder or some sort. So I'll, I'll get that. I'm actually going to use B so I think it's a little bit better. B. So I've got my colour, I'm just going to sweep this in my eyebrows. Sweep this in my eyebrows. Like a bit of that. I'm really packing it over the top. <laughs> this colour is all from the palette, so... This feels that the most... The real most, you see? I guess it's what I use, but I use the metallic colour of my eyebrows. I don't know what I do. Okay. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is take this red colour. It comes in here. I'm going to put this right around my eyebrow. Right on the door. I'm going down. So my eyes look very old. Uh, so uh, And the last thing you want to do, if you don't have a stippling sponge, so I don't have it on me, what you can do is just take a bit of cotton gel. It should work quite similar. Take a whole splodge of your red color, put it here. It's creamy. It's so creamy that if you press your, you press this in, you can then press it on your skin. Ah, it does work. I don't know if it's going to work or not, I'm just going to go in with it. <laughs> And you can give yourself some good in the calories because Because I know that you guys won't have if you want to really go out, I would buy a stepping sponge, but I don't think these guys would have one. So I just kind of thought, oh you put them all in here. Everyone has put them all in their house. If you don't have it, your mum will have some. Like, trust me, my mum always put them all in here. The needle is the skin care. You can't do the best in care without So Okay. And that is how um to age yourself. I will add a uh, picture of this in at the end of the tutorial. If no, I guess. I'm covered in makeup and I have made such a mess on my carpet. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um oh wait, lips! I thought you got lips. With your lips, um, the best thing to do is wrinkle them up. It makes them really crack. What I like to do is put a really nude colour to that pencil. I can't open this one up for some reason. I don't know if I used it. If I I don't know I'm going to use lip stain instead and draw the lips in. Put a lot of them in there. So 
to go over. Yeah, let's see if I shrink. I don't know why you do that since small. It's weird. Okay. There you go. That's my tiny little old people. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.